Hey everyone, it's been a while. As you know, COVID has changed all of our lives in different ways. For some, it's invited us to slow down. For others, it's brought hardship and unforeseeable challenges. For others, it's been an opportunity to spend more time with loved ones. Regardless of where you are in the Eastern Townships, COVID has asked us all to reflect on our priorities and recognize our limitations. At Literacy in Action, this has been exactly what we've been working through. How can our organization go from an in-person service to an online platform without losing con the connection and hands-on learning experience we pride ourselves on offering? On top of the challenges that not everyone has Wi-Fi or the technology they need to participate. So what have we been doing? Over the past few months, we've successfully managed to provide the income tax clinic. We've been offering call-in hours for questions and support related to navigating all the COVID information and protocols. We offered programming online to a small group of adults to experiment with whether or not our programming would be able to go into the digital realm. We also participated with partners to provide rainbow baskets and care packages that provided activities and some resources to families. And yes, we've had a lot of team meetings, rethinking our organization and imagining the different ways we can bring our services to, pe to the people and the communities that we've gotten to know and really appreciate. So with J.O. and Yo here with me, I'll pass on the mic so they can share what's ahead. Yeah, hi everyone. Um, so throughout the COVID times, we have been keeping ourselves busy and experimenting with some new stuff. Uh, we did, through this chaos, decide to begin recording a podcast entitled Leah's Lifelong Learning Cafe. Uh, we just released the first episode, so I will include the link below. Uh, we, we basically take our turns talking about our experiences, sort of exploring the word literacy and, you know, talking from the heart. Uh, and uh, I really hope that you will resonate with it. I invite you all to listen to it and, uh, and let us know what you think. More episodes will be coming out as the new season begins. Uh, we will be releasing more episodes in the fall. Uh, so yeah, keep in touch and we'll keep you posted. Excellent. I just listened to the edited uh, episode too, and I really like it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so speaking of fall, we will be continuing our one-on-one -on -one support um, in reading, writing, document use, math skills. Um, so for those that are still working with us, that have been working with us, we'll continue. Um, and if that's something you're interested in as well, um, please contact us. And yeah, we will be collaborating with some other organizations in the fall um, to continue to uh, offer our services in creative and fun ways. And, <laughs> and yeah, branching off our arts and scraps. Um, we're gonna have kind of like a scraps of the month on Facebook. Um, and that will be, uh, we'll introduce uh, a little scrap material and all the ways that you can transform it and make it into art um, or a list of, of other things. Um, I've been having a really fun time uh, with scrap onion peels and making dyes and, uh, and other things. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, we'll also be having our uh, adults learning from home um, online groups and that'll be um, an opportunity for adults around the Eastern Townships to get together online. Um, we might create a magazine, life skills manual. Uh, we'll kind of see how it develops um, with, with people. Um, and if you're not online, um, but you want to participate, we'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited <laughs> for, for the fall and, uh, and for all the ways that we're going to connect um, across distances and across um, different challenges. So, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for for that update. 
Um, and I'll also add that we will be sharing um, the calendar that J.O. worked so hard on creating so you could get a glimpse of what we did have planned for the spring. Um, it's kind of a way to, uh, to salute all of the efforts that have been put into helping Literacy in Action grow over the last few years. And I'll also add that people might be wondering about Books to Belly and uh, we're still piloting how we're going to manage that uh, because it does involve food and different things. Um, and so we're just figuring that out uh, and we'll update you in the fall on how that's going to happen. And uh, other than that, that's it for us this year. We'll be closing on June 30th and reopening August 25th. So we'll be maintaining our opening hours um, in, the new, in, the, in the new session of fall 2020. So Tuesday, 1 to 6, and Wednesday and Thursday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So I'd also love to take this opportunity um, to thank you. Um, thank you for being a part of our learning community and showing up when we could still gather. A special shout out to our volunteers who have been helping adult learners learn to read, to our help coordinator and all the volunteers who stepped up to support healthcare practitioners practice their English language skills, to our income tax clinic coordinator, and the volunteers who managed to help us offer the service during the heart of the COVID transition. Yeah. I'll be sending out an invitation to all of you for our AGM, our annual general meeting at the end of August. And yes, it will be on Zoom this year. We're gonna experiment with that and see how that goes. Um, and it might even be something we'll do in the future because we have people who, who participate in our programming across the Estuary region and travel is always um, an obstacle for many. So this might be a great opportunity for us to, to actually get everybody in the same room at the same time. <laughs> This has been a wild experience and a shout out to all of you. We hope you're doing well. And I believe uh, on behalf of the team, we wish you the kind of summer you hope to have and that you stay safe and keep washing your hands. Yeah. <laughs>